Hey, hey, fellas. I'm excited about this one. This is a truck I'm proud of. This is a truck where I'm happy to say I'm in business hot shotting, right? This is the second truck I ever bought brand new. Sorry, this truck's already stickered up, ready to go. The windows are stickered up, so I'm trying to avoid them. Just give me a, give me a walk around so you can tell she ain't all uh, roses and peaches. She has her battle scars. For some reason, this truck got, was involved in three front-end accidents. Three minor front-end accidents, and the first one major. It got totaled out at 12,000 miles, and I bought her back and restored her and whatnot. Anyways, the point of this video is to show you guys what a 700,000 mile, yes, 700, not 621 a mile uh, truck looks like. One of these days, I got to change out the odometer or the cluster and get that meanwhile trackers keeping track of it for us uh what i was saying before this truck hits the road i'm uh i'm letting it go here in town it's gonna run around town and we're gonna make sure she's good you know kind of run errands haul a load or two around town see how we feel about it and then the plan is to let it loose next week to go over the road simple as that uh some of you guys are be curious how she looks I don't know if I finished saying that. That's what they max out. That's a pretty much a million kilometers. So the actual mileage is 700,000 on this truck. Um, you know, not, as I said, not the prettiest truck. Definitely could be in better shape. Uh, as ever, you know, as other companies out there struggling with manpower. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that valve cover, but there's other parts that I actually appreciate him painting. I mean, there's a few bracket tree in here that he painted. Fan collection. Well, you can really see in the see how he did red and red. You can really see in the in real real world. You can't even notice it all that much. She runs well. She runs proper. You know, runs good. Uh, I want her broken in. I mean, shoot, she's not even broken in. She's not in that much blood by. That's cool. She definitely looks like we need to change this and put a uh, put some brackets there so she's secure. Heck, maybe even get rid of this beauty cover and just call it a day. Probably be a better decision. After all, it's 700,000. We're going to try not to send her too far. Uh, yeah. Cosmetically, you can tell it's... It ain't new, but definitely 700,000. She's in good shape. This was the second to last trip before the engine grenaded. Uh, that real t rear tailgate. And uh, that front hood was painted with some aerosol or something like that real quick but we'll, we'll get around to it Man, what happened here well you know giving this truck another couple hours give it a good exterior wash interior you know door jams and all that little gremlins i think it'd be a solid local runner that's why we're letting it run for a week around town anyways fellas y'all gonna ask what's the maintenance same as other trucks right <sighs> this thing had 20,000 on the engine, you know, 20,000 mile engine uh, intervals. So what that included, uh, oil filter, oil itself, fuel filters, both, every 20,000. At 50,000, we did the transmission and we did the rear ends, fluids, right? At 100,000, we did the transfer case and the front axle. Uh, powertrain components. I just told you we just put the engine together. I don't really like your idling. Just, you want to, you know... Side note, you put an engine together, idle, and make sure it gets up to temp, everything's good, fluids are flowing, don't idle it after that. Run it with the load. First 500 miles, put a load on it. Um, anyways, that's why I shut it down. <sighs> I was going to say something else. Powertrain. Original powertrain components. We just did the engine of 700,000. I firmly believe as a mechanically, if a mechanical inclined person is driving these things, not overheating them, not abusing them. Yes, they haul goosenecks and they haul a lot of weight for a little pickup, but they could last a million miles, believe it or not. I firmly believe in that. But this one grenaded because looks, everything's pointing that an injector let loose, driver kept pushing in and, and cracked the cylinder. So, um, jammed open, sprang. <laughs> so, to make a long story short, excuse me there. <clears throat> To make a long story short, uh, take care of these fortunes. They are, uh, I very much 
wish I could still buy them brand new. I would do in a heartbeat. I would pay more money and get a fourth gen. It's less of a fifth, like it's less of a truck than a fifth gen. Fifth gen is more refined. It's a better truck. But this is like the, this is like a workhorse. Simple, gets the job done. And I can't say enough good things about fourth gens. And you guys know that. Fifth gens, go watch my other videos. I've been having much different luck with them i'll just leave it at that i don't want to get carried away with all that negativity it's been a rough ride 22s i'm underlining 22s leave it at that go check my other videos out but the powertrain 700,000, it did well very uh this truck didn't get so lucky with drivers it always got rough drivers in it i uh, just you know you don't really know who you're dealing with until they run and drive for you 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 guys managing know what i'm talking about you have an idea when the guy gets hired, but once he starts working, you get the true definition of the engine. So the engine would have lasted longer, but short-lived. I know it's funny to say that, but it's short-lived. That's all I'm underlying. Transmission, like clockwork, 550000 this tranny went. So I got another tranny installed. I had a tranny laying around. I think I had 400000 on that when I installed it. Still doing just fine. Shifting pretty well, fairly well. The transfer case is original. The rear end, 500,000, got it rebuilt. Um, and the drive shaft, the drive line, got overhauled at 500,000 as well. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Um, yeah, so as far as bearings, every the front end bearings get replaced every 250,000 miles. Uh, and U joints. U joints are like hit and miss. Nobody really could calculate them. We've seen them go at 100,000 on the front axle. Sometimes we see 400 out of them. It just depends how it goes. We're very sensitive. We inspect things carefully because it gets pretty pricey on the road. I might as well show you around the truck. Um, so that front end axle is still original. No overhaul on that front end axle. Now, as far as front end components, uh, ball joints every 300,000, brake pads, 100 to 200, depends how hard the driver is and how they, how they utilize the exhaust brake. Um, help me god what else ball joints 300 brake pads 100 to 200 depending how they drive really careful drivers will push past 200 don't allow that the glue will let loose and that thing will go flying so don't press the 200 mark um all the steering rods all the suspension bushings besides the ball joints are oem believe it or not if you don't go talk to other guys at high mileage that took care of their equipment um, they'll tell you the original components, right? Nothing needs to get replaced. Yes, gearbox, power steering, pump, all that. What has been replaced is the master cylinder. And I believe the booster while we're in there as well. That was about 500 as well. Now, going back inside, original seat, original steering wheel. You kind of tell she's, uh, she's had quite a few miles on her. All this is original. Let me show you the seat. Not the prettiest condition. Oh, no, I think they took this seat and redid the cushioning on it. But as far as the skin goes, it's all original. No, the dash isn't falling apart. The door panels aren't either. These are all OEM. The, door, the doors close decently fine. You can tell she's a little rattly. Um, but, you know, nothing that can't be fixed. 700000 I couldn't be happier, guys. Well, that's weird. Um, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. I think, uh, to have a good ride, you know, you need to try and change out mount bushings. And, uh, you could, you should probably start, we should probably start ripping into the front end, but there's nothing loose. There's nothing rattling. We'll just keep driving her. She's not wandering anything. So if you want to be Mr. Perfectionist, you know, 500,000, I'll probably do the main bushings on the arm trailing arms there probably do a track bar and stuff like that but it's not loose so we just leave it alone i'm defining beside behind what or differentiating what has to be done and what you know in a perfect world you should i would have probably done my 500,000 mile personal rig you know i've been working on all these and eliminating stuff and kind of uh, honing it down pinning certain things down oh motor mounts guys something that needs to be done 500,000 that you need to be done you know, if you do 400, you're not losing a whole lot. Uh, but I think about 450, 500, they really start diving off. So get the motor mount swapped out. Uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap up this video. It's supposed to be a really short video. Now we're 
coming. Oh, shoot. It's almost 10 minutes. Sorry, guys. Um, I know, but at the flip side, you guys are curious. People watching these videos, they're curious on longevity. They'll take a few minutes more, and they'll, they, they'll see how's another guy keeping this thing alive. Big thing is fuel, guys. Make sure you get good fuel. Um, I had a truck. You know, one wrong fuel up. And I'm going to reserve from throwing this company under the bus, but it's a major a truck stop. They did not. They did not pony up and make it right with us. So there is something in that diesel. I, I don't, I'm not a scientist, so I didn't send it out to the lab. But when I drained the fluid, it was, it was milky, as in water. But I have high suspicions of def. I've seen def and gasoline, or excuse me, def and diesel mix, and that's exactly how it looked in the past. I've had customers towing their trucks. And, hey, I just put some def in my diesel thing, so we'll drop it, clean it all out. And we'll, uh, successful in restoring, you know, recovering the whole operation. But anyway, same thing with that one truck at 550,000. A driver pulled into a uh, heck the flying J up on 104, exit 104 and on 84, and fueled up and he made it across in probably about 120 miles and died out. He said the truck kind of started missing here and there nothing crazy just kept getting worse but on i pulled up his records you know there's no def purchase at that location we drained the main tank we drained the auxiliary tank all the fuel looked like milky so like i said def and the diesel is what i've noticed maybe something happened he pissed someone off they did it i don't know what happened but that diesel took out my injectors and my pump flying j wouldn't own up to it Anyways, guys, so be very careful where you do your uh, fuel ups. Major high volume places, the best shot. And, then, and look what happened to us, you know. Hey, I'm just leaving it. The stuff happens. I just wish Flying J you know, stepped up and made it right with us. Um, and then oil. People get hung up on brands and stuff like that. Yes, there's higher base levels than, you know, one brand versus another. Um, if you're doing high mileage like we are, I'll definitely tell you to go with the higher tier oil. You know, AMS oil is good stuff. Schaefer's is good stuff. What do I use? I use Schaefer's. Um, well, that's up in the air right now. I don't know. Might be going to another oil. Once I conclude, I'll let you know. Um, Schaefer's is good stuff. AMS oil is good stuff. Oil purple is... You know, it's hard to get your hands on Schaefer's and AMS oil, but Royal Purple is another level of difficulty, so we stay away from that. But that's good oil. If you're a guy that stays local and you can always have access to it, don't shy away from Royal Purple. Good stuff. But average Joe, average usage, even heavy usage. But if you're around town, you know, the three major brands. I say major. There's more to them. But, you know, Rotella, you got uh, Dello. Rotella, Dello, and then uh, Valvoline. Dell VAC. I think they come from the same supplier, so it really doesn't matter. Um, yeah. I'll leave it at that. As always, folks. God bless you. Let me know. I'll do my best. I'm trying to... The more you guys watch my videos, the more I'll, I'll post them. The more the more interaction there is. I am working hard on that. I'm blessed to have the crew that I have right now taking care of me. We're taking care of each other. It's a two-way street, you know. And they're allowing me to, to have a little bit more free time. And I, I, I want to do certain things in my free time. And YouTube is one of them. So support me by sharing my videos. And yeah, I'm, I'm willing. At this point in life, I'm willing to... Let's put it this way. I gave it a small time frame. Fairly small. To, to give YouTube attention. And if there's a need in it, I will continue. If not, I'll move on to my next endeavors. I always did YouTube as a hobby thing, as <laughs> just point and shoot and go there. But it's important to us for, it's important to me to know that you guys are supportive. All right. God bless you. Bye.